especially when you're young, you don't have a lot of confidence. And so when you feel confused about what to do in life, most often you listen to the voice of your elders. Now they may have good advice or they may have bad advice, but I know one thing for sure, which is that they aren't you and they don't know what you want internally. Now in this video, I thought I would share the most profound advice I ever received and how it can help you figure out what to do with your life. What's up guys, Alex Hine here over at Modern Health Monk. So before we jump into this video, I've put together a free journaling worksheet right below the video to help you design your dream life, to get your life together, figure out what you want, and plot a path to make that happen. So you can check it out right below the video, and you'll also get a weekly email on how to use journaling to build a better life. First things first, don't fall into the mediocrity trap. Because one of my favorite authors, Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, author of the book Flow, The Psychology of Optimal Experience, talks about what people do when we feel lost, which is that if we're not sure what to do, we have a shaky identity, which is all of us when we're young. But if we don't know what to do, most often people conform. That is, they do what their parents say or they do what they see people doing around them in society. So it's subconscious, often not conscious. Or we rebel. We think, screw the 2.5 kids picket white fence. Screw the nine to five accountant that my dad wants me to be. Screw medical school, I'm gonna be a hippie in Thailand. But none of those are really you, right? Doing what everyone else does is conforming. That's not thinking. And rebelling, just because you don't like the conformity route, is also not thinking. They are both unconscious decisions. None of them involve thinking. But you shouldn't do what everyone else does. You should think. If you feel lost in life, actually think. Think about what life sounds amazing to you. Think about what life sounds fulfilling. Think about what person has the most interesting, fulfilling life to you. Not just the Dos Equis guy, the most interesting man in the world, but really, who has the most meaningful life to you? What is the life you want to wake up to every single day? Think about that. Now, there's a very surprisingly simple secret, I think, to life, which is that the most fulfilled people, <laughs> surprisingly, do whatever fulfills them most on a daily basis. So let's say it's Saturday morning and you're like, what do I do with my life? I'm confused. I've done all of Alex's nerdy little journaling routines, but I still feel confused about what to do with my life. What do I do? People who are deeply fulfilled spend their Saturdays doing whatever deeply fulfills them. For some people, it's with their kids at a soccer match because they love kids and that's what they want to do on the weekend. For other people, they love their work and so they want to work longer hours. So work is what they want to do to fulfill them. Some people volunteer. They're doing food drives or they're doing soup kitchens because volunteering fulfills them internally. And other people, it's crossing something off their bucket list or doing some unique activity or Pinot's palette where they're drinking wine while they're learning how to paint. Fulfilled people, if fulfillment is the goal, they just do whatever is fulfilling. Now, that's a little bit different from successful people in terms of people who value success highly. People who value success highly typically will spend their free time doing whatever makes them feel successful. So if they're an athlete and athletics is how they view their own success, then a lot of the time, what are they doing on the weekend? They're training, they're studying, they're going to seminars, they're going to workshops. They're trying to find ways to be more successful as an athlete. Or if they're an entrepreneur, they're usually working on the weekend because that's what makes them feel successful or leads to the success. Now, maybe for you the success is building your arts business or building a YouTube channel. And for you, feeling successful is really closely tied to feeling well. So what do successful people do on their weekends? If you don't know what to do with your life, they work. They work towards their goals and their dreams. And the final group, what do happy people do on their weekends? They do whatever makes them happy, even if it's not productivity, even if it's not fulfilling. I know plenty of people who are perfectly content. Saturday and Sunday, they hang out with people a little bit and they play video games the rest of the day. And you know what? That's what makes them happy. They have fun playing video games. They sit down with a beer or a glass of scotch They literally are playing video games for three hours on Saturday afternoon because that's what they like. Or they like going for walks in the woods with their dog. And that's what they do on the weekend. So I think the surprisingly simple secret for a lot of people is figuring out what you value. Because if you value fun, then it's clear what to do on your Saturday. You do whatever's the most fun. And if you don't know what that is, then you can figure that out. 
If you value achievement, then that's clear. What you do in your free time is whatever makes you achieve more. That's why a lot of people do work on the weekends. And if what you value is fulfillment or peace, then doing whatever makes you feel fulfilled on the weekend is how you should spend your time. So I think the secret to having a fulfilling life or no longer feeling lost is figuring out what you value and then making more of your activities align with what you value. And things will become a lot clearer that way. So letting your values dictate your life is going to be really, really easy, honestly, to live a life where you feel like you're on track. You're not lost. You're not looking for a purpose. You're not wandering around aimlessly. You feel that feeling of, I'm on the right path, as opposed to feeling lost. So if living a conversation-worthy life is meaningful to you, then spend a lot of your life figuring out what is conversation-worthy and then doing those things. If happiness is your priority, what are the things that make you feel happiest in the average year? Fill your weekend and your evenings with that. And if peace, just, it's just living a comfortable, enjoyable life is your priority, then figure out what activities actually do that for you and do those more every night or do those more every weekend. Because ultimately, feeling lost is less about trying to figure out life and more about trying to live a life that makes you feel alive. And what that is for each person is different. But if you build a life full of actions and activities and scheduled things that makes you feel alive in the way that you want, you're gonna be living an amazing life and you're never gonna wonder about why I feel so lost or trying to find that thing that will complete you. All right guys, my two cents, my rant for this rainy day here in LA. I will catch you soon. Download the journaling worksheet below and watch the related videos right there.